Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Spurge Game Hunting. Enjoy the video. Do you? Yeah. You should look me up and then you'll see what I do. Uh -huh. Get myself in trouble. What's your YouTube channel? Yeah, uh, it's uh, Spruch Game Hunting. How do you spell that? S P R O O C H and then Game Hunting. Okay, I'm gonna look you up. Yeah, absolutely. Hook me up, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Of course. I still can't believe that came to 80 bucks. I mean, it, like I said, it's not a bad deal, but... A little more good. than I want to play. I know. Hey guys, um, I just went to Savers and Goodwill, which is right behind me. Um, the, you guys probably saw the video clip already of what I saw at Savers. I walked in, went to the game section as always, and they had uh, two Super Nintendo games. Uh, just shuffleware, um, nothing crazy. They were $1.99 for two games. Um, let me see if I can show you real quick. Um, they were NLPA, NHLPA Hockey 93, as I drop it uh, right there, you can see that. Um, and Boxing Legends of the Ring. Um, I got those for $1.99, so a buck a piece. Uh, so I thought to myself, maybe somebody dropped off a bunch of games or something. Maybe some of the good ones are up front. Um, so I walked up front, and lo and behold, they were literally just putting out a ton of Super Nintendo games. Um, and a lot of really good titles, too. Um, there was probably about, I don't know, I'd say about 10 to 12 games there. I got those two and two others. Um, the other ones I left behind were... There was Super Mario World, they wanted 20 for it. I've already got one, and that's more than I want to pay for a game that I would be trading or selling. Um, they had Donkey Kong Country uh, for 10 bucks. I should have grabbed that one, but I left it behind. If it's there tomorrow, I'll grab it, which I highly doubt. Um, I already have it, so I wasn't really thinking about grabbing it. It was a little beat up too, so I, I don't know. Um, there was uh, Pilot Wings and um, Jungle Book and another couple other games. There was also a copy, as you saw in the video, of uh, uh, Tournament Fighters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Tournament Fighters, for 13 bucks. They go online for anywhere from 10 to 20, up to 25. The condition on this one was pretty poor. Um, it had label damage uh, from Blockbuster, of all places. Uh, it looks like somebody put the label on and tried to peel it off. The cart itself was really loose, too. Uh, so I left it behind because if I'm going to get that game, I might as well hopefully find it elsewhere and not have to pay full retail. Uh, but without further ado, the things I picked up real quick was um, I picked up one Advantage game, uh, Game Boy Advance game, Advantage, yeah, um, was Super Mario World 2. Um, so I got that. Uh, I got it for, she gave me 30% off on all this, by the way. Um, the girl in the video was really nice. Um, she was really cool. I had a bunch of 30% off coupons from going there all the time and uh, she gave me 30% off anyway uh, And I still have all those I now have three of them that I gonna use by the end of the month So hopefully I can find more stuff um, but the two uh, The three biggies I got oh, maybe not all three biggies, but um, 
this one's a little dirty, needs to be cleaned up, but uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, I got it for $1.99. Uh, I've been looking for this one for a while, and for two bucks, I'm not passing that up. Um, and last but not least, these two, um, respectively, uh, they were marked at 40 and 25, which even at that are good deals uh, for what they go for on eBay. Well, I wouldn't say good deals, but they're definitely a deal. Um, but um, I got Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, and again, I got 30% off of these, so I got this one basically for like 15 bucks, give or take. So the Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, there's a little bit of wear on the label, a little gunk on it. I think I should be able to get it off. It looks like somebody's fingerprint. Um, and then last but not least, the game I've wanted forever. I actually have this on an emulator on my phone. The label's a little beat up, but for the most part, it's pretty clean. Uh, it does need to be cleaned up, but um, Turtles in Time. Uh, I ended up paying basically, it was marked for $39.99. Um, I ended up getting it with the discount for like, I don't know, what was it, 27 or something like that. So really a, a pretty good deal, and I can't complain about that deal. Um, I'm going to go home, test them out, clean them up. Hopefully everything works out right, and uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Hopefully you liked the video. Thanks. But not really. Not really. Uh, not really much of anything. What are you guys getting on the games? Uh, usually like four bucks or um, yeah, somewhere around. Right, right, right. You don't have Wii games? Like Nintendo Wii? Uh, there there are some, uh, but not too many. Uh, there's some right up there on the right, I think. Yeah, those are right there. Mm. But uh, yeah, there's one to uh, wrestling or whatever. This actually should be over here. Five? Yeah. This game is terrible. When you get home, a Q tip rubbing up or I'm gonna fix the cleaning so it gets dirty down here. Alright buddy, thank you.
Barney's hide and seek. So did they just all of a sudden do every game, every movie as a game? They used to. Cyber Tiger? That's strange. <laughs> That's bad. I'm sure it is. It's a fighting game as Star Wars. They did, yeah. Yeah, there's, it's, there's some good ones out there. Italian job. The original Xbox has got the best one. The nice little Republic in there. This is real fishing. He kept asking me, he's like, should I, should I keep it or should I throw it back? Mm, oh, it looks small. I should throw it Jack Fu. We have Monopoly. Uh, yeah, I think so. out of the sun, you know. <laughs> Track the field. Huh?
Uh, I think there's actually four. Well, if one came out for the PlayStation 4, because they had three that came out for the PlayStation 3. For the cartoon? Yeah. This is the Retron. <coughs> Bless you. That's cool. Yeah, there's different versions of all the retrons. Yeah. Hi everyone. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I got a ton of stuff to show off today, um, and uh, let's get to it, because there's a bunch of stuff, so this could take a little bit. Um, I'll start off with stuff I don't normally pick up. Uh, I got a DS game at Savers, um, Super Mario World 2, uh, if you can see that. Um, I don't normally pick these up, but Super Mario World, I got it for like two bucks after a 30% off coupon. So I figured it was a good pickup for my collection or to flip if I decide that I don't want to keep it. Um, aside from that, I got a ton of stuff. I got a bunch of freebies from a buddy of mine. Uh, I got a bunch of good um, savers pickups and a couple other odds and ends, um, as you saw in the video. Um, I'll try to blow through this real quick because, like I said, there's a lot of stuff. Um, most of it is kind of out of order right now, unfortunately, because the way I stacked it. So an idiot but anyway um some of the freebies i got from a buddy of mine uh he has a tattoo shop in connecticut that he was closing up and he had been given a bunch of stuff early in the years and trades um i just happened to be flipping through his stuff he's like dude take it i don't play it i don't use it so if you want it you get more use out of it than i will uh so a couple of the games there's a bunch of ps2 games and ps1 games um a bunch of junk uh tony hawk pro skater 3 uh, no case. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, again, no case. Um, Razor Freestyle Scooter. Sorry if I blinded you. Um, I'll save that one. Uh, I'll save those two. Um, <clears throat> Legacy of Khan Soul Reaver. Uh, I haven't played this yet, so kind of excited to do that. Um, let's see. Road Rash 3D. Spyro. Uh, it's greatest hits, but hey, free, who cares? Uh, Vagrant Story. Um, I don't know anything about this, but obviously it's supposed to be a double CD because somebody put this into this case. Everything's there, though. Um, this is one of my favorite games. This is one of the first games I had on PlayStation 1. Uh, Tenshu. Um, Motocross Mania. And a uh, Jam Pack. Uh, this one's got... Uh, Elmo, Tony Hawk, 3 Extreme, MLB 2000, uh, Next Tetris, some other stuff, whatever. Um, that one, let's, see. Um, let's see, some of the other games I got off them uh, free, Lord of the Rings. Um, a lot of these were disc only, there's no booklet. Um, I reprinted the case for this one. Uh, uh, another one, Sonic Mega Collection, so it's got all the Sonic games on it. NFL Street 2. Um, I did like NFL Street 1, so these games were fun if you've never played them. Uh, not your normal sports game. Uh, Jack and Dexter. Uh, this one doesn't have a disc, um, booklet. Wow, it's terrible. Uh, Jack and Dexter 2. Um, this one does have a booklet. Uh, Tomb Raider. Um, this is now my second copy of this one, but this one has a booklet. Enter the Matrix. Um, this one does not have a booklet. Um, Armored Core 2. I don't really know much about that, but it doesn't really seem up my alley. I was really excited to see this next game, um, and then found out there was no game. It's box and booklet only, Resident Evil 4. I played this on the Wii and loved it. Um, I wanted to pick it up for my PlayStation 2. 
Um, he also had downhill, Jesus, downhill domination. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of game this is, to tell you the truth. Um, so, whatever, it goes in the pile. Like I said, these are free, I'm not going to complain. Um, another copy of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I think I got four or five copies of this by now. Um, another copy of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Again, another game I have like four or five copies of. They're everywhere. Um, the Incredible Hulk. This is the one, I think, based on... Uh, I don't know if this is the one based on the movie or not, um, but I know one of these is better than the other. I think this is the better one of the two. Um, again, not something I played. Um, Pac-Man World 2. Um, and Namco Museum. Uh, with a bunch of, uh, like, Pac-Man, pole, pole Position, Dig Dug, and Galaga, and a whole bunch of other games. Um, so those are cool to pick up uh, and get for nothing. And I really appreciate it. Um, he's done a lot for me with you know my tattoo that really needs to be recolored in um but a bunch of other stuff too um there was also a few other games that didn't have discs uh i'm sorry didn't have boxes uh ratchet deadlocked um of course madden 07 hooray um in this game there was no disc i when i looked it up when i got home just to see anything about it i found out this is like a 90 dollar game um, the case by itself sells for like 30 bucks, and this is the case in booklet, everything here. Um, it's Eender. Um, I don't know anything about it. The game's not there, so unfortunately I can't even play it to try it. Um, so the case is for sale because I can't do anything with it, and I'm not going to buy the game because the game itself is like 60 bucks, um, if not more. Um, this next small stack I got from... Uh, a place that I go to, they sell all their game. well, most of their games for about two bucks a piece. Um, I found some real gems in there, um, but let's just kind of blow through them. Uh, Destroy All Humans for the PS2. Uh, this is a game I've kind of always wanted to play, and why not a fun little shooter. Uh, Destroy All Humans 2. Um, these are both really clean. They have the books, everything. Um, Sly Cooper, uh, Greatest Hits version. Um... These next three are Xbox games, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, Dino Crisis 3, um, this is I guess like a $30 game, um, and I couldn't believe I saw this sitting there, and I was glad to pick it up, it was Star Wars Battlefront 2, this is like another $30 to $40 game, um, so nice pickups for 2 bucks a piece, I can't complain. Um, I did also pick up uh, Star Wars 3, uh, well, Star Wars The Clone Wars on the 360. Um, all the Xbox games are for sale because I don't collect Xbox. Um, I'll trade for them if you have something I want for my PlayStation collection. Uh, so let me know. Uh, let's see, the next stack. Uh, I picked up a couple games at a yard sale I went to. Got them for a buck a piece. Um, I figured for a buck a piece, I'm not going to complain. Not great titles, uh, but hey. Uh, I got uh, The Sims 2 Pets on the GameCube, um, Chicken Blaster on the Wii, not really sure what it is, but it looked a little interesting, so I figured, hey, for a buck, um, Bermuda Triangle, it looks like a puzzle game, um, and Sonic in the Ring, and, and the Secret Rings, uh, so I got all those for a buck a piece, I don't mind, it was a nice little pickup, um, <laughs> Another game I got from a buddy, uh, just case only, was Manhunt 2. Uh, so if anybody has the game for this or Resident Evil 4, let me know. Uh, disc only. I'm looking to pick it up. Hopefully cheap, because they're not really expensive games anyway. Um, I picked up uh, a couple more Wii games at another local little shop I go to. I didn't have my camera, my phone on me uh, for camera you know, work, but uh, I got these for 5 bucks a piece. Um, this one has no case and does need to be cleaned up a little bit. Looks like somebody got coffee on it. Uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Uh, like I said, case only. Uh, game only, sorry. Apparently I can't think today. Um, and this one is complete. It's Both discs are really clean, by the way. Um, and this one's for sale uh, or trade. Uh, new Super Smash Brothers Wii. I do have this already, so I didn't need it. I just picked it up as a flip. I believe that still goes for like 10 to 15 bucks. Um... Then, I had 
I don't think I showed these in the last video. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but if I did, sorry, because apparently I'm unorganized. Um, I met somebody on Let Go and got a couple uh, couple games, five bucks a piece. Um, unfortunately, one of them is missing a disc. It's a three disc piece. It has a disc to another game, but what am I gonna do? Uh, Darkstone, um, got it for five bucks. It's like a ten dollar game. Not a bad pickup. I don't know anything about it, so if it's a good or not, please let me know. Uh, this game is supposed to be iconic. Everybody I've talked to said it's a great game, uh, but it is missing disc one. Uh, unfortunately, so if you have disc one of this game, please let me know. Uh, Final Fantasy seven. Um, the disc one that's in here, this case is destroyed by the way. Uh, the game that is in here for disc one is Final Fantasy Origins for the PlayStation one, um, as this is PlayStation one as well. Uh, so it's got Final Fantasy one and two remastered on it. You know, whatever. It's all for trade. Uh, let's see. Um, I also picked up a GameCube for 15 bucks off a kid. Um, the GameCube works. It's in great condition. It's really clean. Uh, it's right here. Um, I had one a long time ago, and I figured I want to pick another one up. I really don't didn't need it because I have a Wii that plays GameCube games, but figured 15 bucks I can't go wrong. Um, it came with three games. The cases are pretty trashed. I might be able to salvage one or two of them, but um, MVP Baseball 2004, uh, FIFA Street, and this game, game only, is uh, Cars, Disney's Cars. Um, 15 bucks, uh, controller, wires, everything was there, it works great. I'm not going to complain for that pickup. Um, let's see, what am I missing here? Like I said, there's a ton of stuff, sorry. Um, I picked up uh, yet another fat PS2. I got it for 10 bucks. I'll buy these for 10 bucks all day long as long as they work. It does need to be cleaned up. I do have to take it apart um, and clean it because the you, when the door opens, it sounds like it's having a rough time. Um, fat PS2. So if anybody's looking for one, let me know. It does work. I've tested them. Um, I have another one as well, but it's missing the front door. But they both work, so um, just looking for trade for other stuff. Uh, and uh, lastly is a stack of Nintendo stuff. Um, as you saw in, in part of the video um, that I put up already, uh, I got some good deals at Savers. Somebody dropped off a ton of play, uh, geez, N Super Nintendo games, um, and yeah, they were a little higher than you know thrift store prices, but they were much lower than eBay, and I had a 30% off coupon. So I got some really good deals on these, at least in my eyes. Um, I think you guys would think that, you know, they're, they're decent deals um, and that you probably wouldn't pass them by if they were sitting there either at these prices. Um, but first, before I get to those, uh, I went to Flea Market. You've seen the footage. Uh, I picked up two games. The guy gave them to me for 9 bucks, so four fifty dollars piece. Uh, Tiny Toons, Busters Bust Loose. Um, I heard this is a fun game. Uh, I think I played it when I was a kid, so I figured I'd pick it up. Um, and a Nintendo 64 Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Um, he had three copies of this, but this was the only black copy, uh, black cart version. So I don't know why there's black and gray carts. So if you know why, please let me know. Um, so the last pile of stuff I have is the Super Nintendo stuff. We'll go from uh, worst to best in my eyes. Um, so I got these two for a buck a piece. Uh, NHL PA Hockey. Um, this one works great. Um, Boxing Legends of the Ring. This one I can't seem to get to work yet, so I think I need to clean it up a little bit more. Um, but there is a huge... I don't know if you can see it. There's a crack in the back. There you go. Um, so I don't know if that affected the board at all. Again, it's a dollar game, so I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Um, this game doesn't work either. I think i got to clean it up a little bit better. Um, i got to get one of those screwdrivers to take apart the games and whatnot. Um, but I also made cases for him already. Um, it's Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I used to love this game, but who didn't love Mortal Kombat? And this was the best one. Um, I haven't gotten it to work yet, but like I said, it just might need a really good cleaning, and I need to take it apart and try, so. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got Super Star Wars. Oh, jeez. Upside down. Super Star Wars. Um, I got it for 7 bucks. Uh, they go for 10 to 15 online, so like I said, good deal. Um, I got Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I got this for $1.99. 
Uh, this game does work. I loved this game when I was younger, and who, again, who didn't? Great fighting game. Um, this one was not part of the Savers pickups, but I did get it for a deal. I got it for 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, made the case for it. Is Super Mario Kart. Uh, one of my favorite games when I was a kid. Um, actually, all these games that I picked up are from when I was a kid, so I have, you know, good memories of them. Um, these last two games I got for what I would think is a steal, because I know I can double my money on both of them, pretty much. Um, they both work great, they both play great, and, uh, this one I've been looking at for a while as well as the other one, and now I only have one high-end game on the Super Nintendo that I really want, which is Super Mario RPG. So if anybody has it for a good price, please let me know. Uh, this one is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I got it for 17 bucks. Um, I don't know anybody that would leave it sitting there if they found it for $17. Um, all these cartridges are really clean, by the way, except for Ultimate Mortal Kombat. It looks like the label was, like, torn off. Um, the last thing I have to show you guys, I think, if I missed anything, I'm sorry, but you won't know anyway, um, is uh, Turtles in Time. I got this for 25 Consistently sells for... On a low end, 45 bucks up to 60 bucks. So great deal on this, and I've already played the crap out of it since I got it. Um, but aside from that, um, that's all I've got for game pickups. Uh, I've picked up some other stuff here and there. I haven't picked up much in the way of toys lately. Um, just haven't seen anything that has caught my attention. Um, but aside from that, uh, we are up to 86 seven subscribers as of today so again thank you for subscribing thank you for watching thank you for those of you who are leaving thumbs up and those of you that comment i really appreciate it uh i love interacting with you guys so the more comments you leave the more you know i get out of this too um i have a ton of fun doing this and i think you guys have fun watching it because otherwise you wouldn't be subscribing to it and like i said i really appreciate it um so like I said, I'm going to have a contest once I, heat, I reach 100, so probably the next video, hopefully the next video, uh, 13 more subscribers, um, we will be up to 100, um, and I will find something cool to, to give away. Um, I don't know what it is yet, maybe I don't even have it yet, um, but we'll see what we come across. Uh, so if you guys comment, thumbs up, like my videos, um, please subscribe, um, like I always say, tell your friends. And, um, uh, let's see, for maybe a little comment below, uh, maybe tell me what the first game you ever played was, and why you liked it, or why you hated it, um, but what was the, what got you into gaming, what got you into, you know, wanting to play video games, whether it's, you know, Nintendo up to PS4, Xbox One, or anything coming out, uh, maybe if it's just something on your phone, uh, those of you that are a little bit younger than me. Uh, that got you into gaming. Um, but aside from that, like I said, thank you very much for watching, and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next couple videos. On the next video. Jeez, of course I'm going to see you in the next couple videos. Just in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.